so, llegamos y está lloviendo bastante aquí en esta jungla donde acabamos de llegar Definitivamente. So, llegamos aquí, debajo de este cenote. All right, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys one of the most interactive lessons that I do all year. So this one happens to be on the Mayans, Aztecs, and Inca, but I also have others that are almost exactly like this one. One is on westward expansion. The other one is on the Roman Empire. Um, and these could all be found on my Teachers Pay Teachers all for free um, on the Teachers Pay Teachers called Teaching Juntos. The lesson itself is pretty basic. So all they're doing really overall is they're trying to figure out in which of these empires we landed in. So we have, they have to figure out if we land in the Mayan, um, you know, Mayan city states in the Inca Empire or the Aztec Empire. And the way they're going to try to figure that out is by analyzing different artifacts. So every time they find each of the six artifacts, they're going to fill in these sentence frames, right? So they're going to tell me um, what they think the artifact is. They're going to tell me where they think we landed. So if this artifact is Maya, Inca or Aztec, by the way, the final answer is Mayans, right? All these things are things that were made from the Mayans. Um, so this should be a lesson that's done at the end of the of this unit, right? So they can be able to know the differences. And uh, in some cases, we even use it as a test. I remember Mr. Ron and I, um, a couple years ago, we actually used to use this as a test itself. Um, that version of it is found on mrrowan.com. So I've changed mine quite a bit and have added the special effects part, which I'm going to talk about in a little bit. Um, but uh, so there's different ways to use this, but that's pretty much the premise that they're trying to figure out where uh, we have landed. And then uh, for each artifact, they also tell me um, whether they think that this artifact shows that the Mayans, Inca or Aztecs, whatever they choose, again, that Mayans is the correct answer. So uh, how it shows that the Mayans were advanced or not advanced. So it's pretty simple, uh, right? So they analyze each artifact. So the first one is a Mayan ball game ruin that they find. And they have to tell me again um, where they think we landed and whether this shows that the Mayans were advanced or not. Um, sla show slash and burn, which is artifact two. Artifact three would be their Mayan writing system. Artifact four would be um, basically their sacrifices or the sacrificial knife. Um, five would be the grills, right? The thing that they did with their uh, with their teeth, how they would put diamonds in there. And lastly, their temple, right? So these are each of the different artifacts that they're gonna find. The lesson itself is pretty simple, right? They analyze artifacts and try to figure out where they landed. Now, what makes this, in my opinion, cool is the special effects that are used right so since we get here in the jungle uh you know you're gonna uh, hear sound effects lightning and as the lightning sounds i have one of my students flickering the lights at the same time i also have a fan in the back and i'm spraying the kids with water right because the idea is that you, you hear the special effects of the rain right so the whole idea is to really immerse them and then may really make them feel like we are actually in the jungle, right? I also use um, some Febreze here to make it smell like like the jungle. And again, just really make it feel like we're actually in, um, in this jungle here in the middle of Central America somewhere, right? Then we get here to the cenote, which is where the Mayans would um, sometimes sacrifice people. Uh, so we go in here and we, you know, get our scuba diving gear. We go inside the cenote here. And then this is where I use the bubbles, right? To make them feel like, you know, air bubbles, like we're here again under the cenote, adding that extra layer of fun. So again, the lesson itself, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Uh, they're just trying to figure out where we landed. But again, the cool part is these different special effects um, that, I, that I do for the students, right? So this is something, these little special effects, something I've been using, like I said, in different lessons. And I really think that they add a layer of cool to an otherwise pretty simple lesson. But with that, thank you guys for watching this and I'll see you guys next time.